Salutations, friends and strangers of the interwebs. Welcome back. I am said Stevie. Unboxing. Surprise, surprise. Uh, this comes from White Mountain Knives. Um, used my code, uh, my own code, Stevie10, to save 10% on this order. Uh, this is actually a knife that I've had in previously for review. Uh, it was a prototype, I believe, or at least an early release of it, and um, it became available, so I ordered it. And the unboxing knife today, uh, I think, seems fitting. Uh, this is the Tucson TS-174, which is a CM knife design. One of my favorites of the CM knife designs uh, that I have. And uh, it's fitting because this is a CM knife design. This is going to be filled with tactical peanuts. I know it because it's from White Mountain Knives, and that's how they do. So, um, unlike my other uh, CM knife designs, uh, knives, this is from Best Tech. Slice it open there. And as you can see, it is the tonic. That's right. Um, this is Colin Mason Pierre's uh, lockback, uh, back lock uh, design. So uh, comes in a nice uh, Best Tech pouch with, uh, is it the Nuke? No, that is the... Um, I forget, but that is a uh, kombu design, if I'm not mistaken. I can't recall the name off the top of my bat. Off the top of my head? Off the bat? I don't know. Um, either way, it uh, comes with uh, the standard Best Tech wiping cloth, uh, some yum yums, uh, the sticker, uh, some warranty paperwork, and of course, uh, the knife. So let me put uh, all this away and. Take a closer look at it. So, um, I decided to go with the same variant that I had when um, it was passed around. This is uh, in black micarta with a bead blasted blade. Definitely needs to uh, be uh, worked in a little bit there. This is not nearly as smooth as the one that I had uh, in the pass around. Um, Probably going to take a little uh, oiling, and maybe I just need to uh, crack the uh, pivot slightly, loosen it up just a skosh. Let's do that here, and see how it goes. Hmm, yeah, it's going to need uh, some breaking in for sure. Uh, it's funny that uh, the middle finger flick is, nope. Not even that. Yeah, it's going to take some breaking in. Uh, this feels dry as hell. Dry as hell. Um, so probably going to have to put a couple dabs of uh, KPL um, or some lubrication into here. But yeah, uh, I like this knife. I absolutely like it. It's available in a bunch of different flavors. You can get it in carbon fiber. You can get it in a couple different micarta colors. But this is the only variant that had the bead blasted blade. And uh, that's my jam. So um, this is a just shy of three inch knife, uh, three inch blade on here. Um, one, two, three, or just, no, it's, I thought it said it was like 2.96 or something, but this is looking just over, I guess the cutting edge is just under three inches there, if you uh, see down there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just shy of seven inches overall. Uh, it's a small knife, but um, I definitely uh, dig this for sure. Uh, different um, construction. You got to get used to that uh, um, drop there. I think I was kind of guiding it down with my finger. Um, you know, got to be careful with this thing. Um, it just actually uh, it got me. I don't know if it'll break the uh, skin or not, but... Uh, this knife can be a uh, dangerous. Uh, you're looking at, um, does it say on there? It does. Uh, M390 on the blade steel. 
and it does have a reversible pocket clip. I was hoping that it would come with some sort of a filler tab, uh, but it, it did not. Um, but yeah, I don't know that there's anything different about this on the uh, production versus the one that we had in on the pass around. But uh, I dig it. It's uh, my only uh, lockback in the collection outside of a uh, couple of old, um, old school knives that I have in a box somewhere. But uh, the main reason why I picked this up is because I'm chasing all the CM knife designs. And uh, one of my favorite designers. Uh, this knife was two hundred and eighty nine dollars uh, minus the ten percent off. Uh, you know, dropped it down to two six. I can't do math. I don't remember. Um, but it's not cheap, and I wish that uh, this knife was much more affordable. Uh, there, you can see some of the other. Uh, variants that it's in uh, satin with green canvas all blacked out uh, with carbon fiber green uh, canvas micarta natural micarta and then the one that I got there um, no the one that I got was this one one of the cheaper ones 289 so there's a look at some of the other specs there 2.96 inch on the blade length. So yeah, um, you'll see, uh, you can, I'll put a link in the description for this, uh, and you can use my code, or you can use uh, Keister 10, TLR 10, uh, Lefty 10, all sorts of uh, awesome codes uh, to get 10% off at uh, White Mountain Knives. But uh, yeah, definitely not a uh, cheap knife by any means, um, but I had to have it. As I mentioned, um, I like me some CM knife designs. So, uh, again, the TS-174. Uh, this one is in D2 uh, steel. Uh, natural micarta. Uh, does have a uh, thumb disc there. Um, and a uh, front flipper. That's uh, one of the CM knife designs from Tucson that I got that I uh, absolutely like. Uh, the other one is this chunky boy. This is the TS319 uh, in 14C28N uh, uh, burlap micarta. Um, this thing is awesome, but it is uh, it is chunky for sure. Uh, and um, but I I also dig those uh, very much. Both of those. Then you start getting into uh, the other ones that I really dig. Uh, and he's done quite a few uh, with Kube. So uh, this was my very first one. This is the Royale, a.k.a. the Royale with cheese. Uh, one of my uh, favorite knives. I don't remember uh, what the KU number is on this, but uh, the Royale with cheese is a fantastic knife. And then you have uh, one of my absolute favorite knives. Uh, this is the Kube... Ugh, missed the flip on that one. Uh, the Kube uh, Duroc. Uh, these are both in, I believe, yep, uh, D2 uh, steel uh, G10 uh, handles. And then, last but not least, you have the Kube Hide. Um, man, I'm not uh, doing very good on my uh, flips today. Uh, this is a front flipper uh, finger slot only. Uh, again, D2 uh, Black G10. So that is my CM knife design collection right there. Uh, I think it's nice seeing a uh, one in a premium uh, material there. And by the way, uh, it did actually open up the skin there. So... Uh, yeah, you got uh, micarta, uh, nice. Uh, I like the micarta uh, on it. Uh, titanium uh, uh, on the uh, scales, all titanium on the uh, hardware. Or I don't know if the uh, screws are titanium. And then uh, M390 on the blade steel. So um, definitely uh, going to have to uh, break this one in and uh, see what I can do with it. Uh, to dial in that action. Now that I have this, you'll also be seeing a 
disassembly video on this coming soon because I want to take it apart and check it out because I don't think I've ever taken apart a backlog before. And I'm um, just curious to see uh, what its insides look like. So, yeah, when I had this, I carried the shit out of it. Um, I really like this knife. I really, really like this knife. Again, on the spendy side, um, even with the discount code, this still puts it above 250 bucks. Um, I know a lot of people are absolutely going to pass uh, just because of that. Um, but uh, it's something different, and I like it. And the ergos are money on this. I do, do wish uh, we had some jimping on the spine, but everything about this knife is great. It's small, but it's mighty. I don't mind the uh, backlock uh, construction. Um, it's definitely a different uh, type of fidget, for sure. Um, you know, it's not your traditional... Ah, oh, man. Okay, that just got me again. So that's... Uh, yeah, you can see it's opened me up uh, uh, twice now in uh, less than 10 minutes. And that one got me good. That one got me good. It's extremely, extremely slicey. Um, so uh, you got to be careful uh, fidgeting with this thing. And yeah, that's a good one. I'm going to need to put a Band-Aid on it. I thought that that was uh, the one that got me. It's not. It was that one uh, in front of that one. That's the new one that just opened me up. Yep, going to have to put a Band-Aid on it. But there you go, folks. Uh, as you know, or maybe you don't know, um, I am more a collector of designers at this point. And um, CM Knife Designs is something... Uh, he, he got me with the... Uh, the Royale, after I knew that um, he had other designs out, uh, the Royale got me, and I had to start uh, start collecting. And uh, now that he is partnered with uh, Lefty EDC as part of Devo Knives, there'll be even more coming in. I got the Stout on pre-order. Uh, the Growler is starting to uh, get passed around. You guys will see pretty soon. And then... Um, I know uh, behind the scenes, I've seen probably three or four other uh, Devo knife designs uh, that are going to be coming out. So um, the CM knife design uh, collection is going to grow and grow and grow. Uh, cool dude. Uh, really, uh, 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 Colin has been um, friendly uh, every time I've talked to him, met him at Blade Show. Uh, I've had some... Uh, discussions with them uh, via messenger uh, maybe one day i'll get them on the uh live stream um uh you never know never know at all did i zoom in why is this so uh why is this so uh zoomed in did i no that's weird um anywho did it zoom in on me without me realizing it i don't know doesn't matter video's over folks uh that's all i got for you Again, uh, the best tectonic. Careful, because it'll make you bleed. But, uh, again, if you want to pick one up and use a discount code from White Mountain Knives, I think that's going to be your best bet to save the most money. They're available elsewhere, but I don't know that uh, elsewhere has a discount code. So, uh, yeah, go get you one. Why not? Anywho, uh, if you haven't already, please uh, subscribe. I'll link a video. I don't know what video that'll be, but uh, you can like and watch that if you have a moment. And until the next one, I bid you a deuces.